Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate every one of you. Tonight, what we're going to talk about, before we get back to Unify Best Practices and we get back to Grandstream Phone Systems and Synology Storage and all the good stuff, uh, one of my most requested videos is to replace a USG in an existing network. And we're going to do that, but we're going to do it a little bit, a little bit differently. I'm going to show you a diagram real quick. Now, here are two different networks. This one is easy. No matter what the subnet is, this one is super duper easy. When the Unify controller is outside of your network and it's sitting out here, all you have to do is make sure you have a WAN connection and set the inform to your external controller and you're done. The hardest one, in my opinion, is when the Unify controller is inside your network. Now, we could hop over here and I can just swap out you know, if I'm using 192.168.1.0 slash 24 for my internal network, that's easy. That's kind of cheating. So the whole point of this is to look at something that's a little bit not standard. So what I've done is I've taken the lab that we're using for our best practices and I've changed the internal network to 192.168.4.0 slash 24. And I'll, I'll show you how I did that and then we will forget this USG. And then what happens is we can either plug in a USG Pro or we can plug in a new USG. We're going to simulate sticking a new USG into this network that is not a 192.168.1 network, but is in fact the 192.168.4. So let's go over to the Unify controller and check this out. By the way, if you're not aware, uh, on your cloud key, if you're running cloud key, or even if you do this install manually, 5.7.23 is out. So if you were on 5.7.20, go ahead and upgrade to 5.7.23. And real quick, we'll take a look at the release notes and see what uh, what's in there. And it looks like in the release notes, they added a bunch of fixes. So if you're on 5.7.20, make sure you upgrade to 5.7.23. If you're having any little issues, this just may fix it. So 5.7.23 is out. Make sure you have a backup. 5.7.23 is out. Make sure you have a backup. Make sure you upgrade. All right. So what we have here is we have our lab site one, and I've changed the network to 192.168.4.0/24. And how you do that? on a Unify network when you have a USG is you come in and this LAN which has no VLAN which so it's VLAN 1 the untagged VLAN you change the gateway subnet right here and then you update the DHCP range so you can see we're handing out those 192.168.4 addresses now all of my infrastructure devices the cloud key the switch and the AP they all have static IPs so the switch is at 4.6 AP is at 4.3 come over to the clients, the cloud key is at 4.2. So something here could be a, it could be a, a server, right? So if this is your 192.168.4 network and you have a server, you certainly don't want a server or a storage device such as Synology. You don't want to grab in an IP address, you know, from a network that it's not in, which could happen while we do this. But here, here we go. This is what we're going to do. We are going to forget this device and then we are going to have one, we're simulating this thing coming out of the box, whether it's a Pro or whether it is another USG. It's going to get plugged in the exact same way. So the way that it's plugged in right now is we have WAN going out to our internet source and LAN is plugged into our little 8-port switch. And that's exactly how we're going to do it. So here's the first thing that we've got to do. We've got to come over here and we have to go down to Manage Device and we have to say Forget Device. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to remove this? And we're going to say yes. And it's going to factory default it, which is exactly how a device would be if we took it out of the box. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a minute while it wipes the configuration. And then we're going to get a new IP address, uh, which will be in the 192.168.1 range. And I'll show you how we're going to get this back into the controller. So I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm here. It's going to go ahead and remove the USG. You can't see the lights right now, but uh, right now I've got no status LED. It has wiped the config and is rebooting. So we're going to open up a command prompt real quick, and we're going to release our IP. And when the USG does come back online, 
we're going to get a 192, 168, 1 address. And I'm going to pause this. This is going to take a minute, and we'll be right back. All right, so I believe the device is done uh, rebooting, and my machine actually grabbed an IP. And so we grabbed 192.168.1.6. .1 well, that's not going to work for us. We need to get the USG into 192.168.4. So this is the point where you've either stuck a new USG in, uh, whether it's the you know the three port the small model which is the equivalent of the edge rider light or whether you've put the pro in so this is where you've got the LAN port going to your eight port switch you've got the WAN port going to your internet and if you look at the top of the device you can't see it there but I have a white status LED and it is handing out those default IP addresses this is its default mode to hand out IPs on the 192.168.1 We've got to get this guy over to the 192.168.4. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to SSH using the default credentials, which are UBNT, UBNT, over to the USG. So now we are logged into the USG on 192.168.1.1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a configure. We're going to do a set interfaces eth1 and let me show you why we're doing that actually so we'll do a first we'll do a show configuration and if we go down to the interfaces you're going to see that eth0 is our WAN and eth1 is our LAN so that's why we're going to set this on eth1 so we're going to go to configure we're going to do set interfaces ethernet eth1 uh, address 192.168.4.1 slash uh, 4.1 slash 24 we're going to do a commit we're going to do a save now if we back out of this and we do a show configuration again and we go down to those interfaces, you're going to see something here. And what, what it has actually done is it has assigned both of those IP addresses. Now it's still handing out IP addresses on 1.1, but we just care about being able to get to our cloud key, which is 4.2. And so right now, if we do a ping to 4.2, since it has an interface that's in that network, you can see that it sees it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up our uh, network configuration here. And we're going to go from DHCP and we're going to give ourselves like a 192.168.4.50. And we're going to say OK. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to refresh our cloud key because we were, you know, we were still logged into the controller. So when we refresh this uh, and look at the devices, you can see, look at that, there's a USG in there pending adoption. And that's because this controller is on the same network and it's discoverable on the on the same network. So we're going to go ahead and click Adopt. And what's going to happen now is it's you can see right there it changed the IP address over to 4.1. Now you can see the WAN address. So it is loading that configuration, <coughs> excuse me, from Unify into the USG and it's going to end up provisioning and it's going to end up rebooting so what we need to do now is we need to go back and we need to take that static IP off of our interface so that when this guy starts handing out IP addresses on the 192.168.4 network we get one of those addresses so this is where if you've got to go to the bathroom get up go to the bathroom go get a drink of water coffee whatever it is and uh, we're going to be patient we're going to give this a couple minutes and we're going to be right back all right, so it took about three minutes, and now I have an IP address that's in the correct the correct network. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to refresh my cloud key, and now you can see 4.1 is the IP address. We're going to come over here. We're going to give this uh, USG a name. Now, like I said, this could be the USG standard like we're using, or it could have been the Pro. 
If you want to see me actually do this with a pro, put it down there in the comments and I'll show you exactly how to do this with a pro. It's going to be exactly like this, but I'm going to be using the pro instead. But that's it for this video. I hope you learned something here. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. If you do need network or voice over IP or security consulting, go to h5llc.com. Reach out to us with the contact form or give us a call here at the office. I'm always glad to help you out. Uh, please uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. There's a If you go to h5llc.com, down there there is a newsletter sign up. Get on our newsletter. Uh, we also have a Discord channel you can join. And uh, there is an Amazon affiliate shop down there if you want to buy USGs or any of the other gear you see us using here. Uh, the link is down there. And as always, once again, I do appreciate you. And this has been great, and I'll see you in the next video.